Hey, it's been a while since I've been on this street. It feels really, really great to be back. So let's jump right into this new and exciting vlog. So this is going to be really insightful for you if you're considering starting an Airbnb business or you're just in interested in the subject. So first things first, allow me to quickly run you through the key initial steps that you need to consider before you get started. So number one is to identify an ideal location where you'd want to start your business. Two is to do a market research to establish the demand and the type of clientele that you'd want to be targeting within the location. Then number three is to look for an apartment and ensure that your landlord understands the type of business that you wish to carry on. So you've identified an ideal location, you've contacted a market research and you've discovered this potential in, this, in the market. You've identified an apartment and spoken to the owner of the building and they're okay with you carrying out such a business. Here is the fourth step, which is to work with a designer to get a space that is professionally planned so it's easy to achieve the right feel and taste for many people you look forward to be hosting within that space. So this is entirely based on your target audience or target customer and the budget that you will have for the project. So you can kindly DM me if you need help with designing a, such a space. I'm very affordable and you'll get good return for your investment. The next one is to work with mood board, coming up with the space concept for ease of reference and to ensure that you stick to the plan. And uh, the other one is to draft an FFP schedule. So this is a furniture, fixture and equipment schedule that comes along with your shopping list. And then you're ready to go for shopping. So let's go shopping. So we decided to start with the heavy lifting. And that is shopping for the furniture, uh, paint and wallpaper, lighting, TV, textile and rugs. Then we went to the juicy stuff, which is the deco pieces and kitchen utensils and cutlery. So we hope that you're going to enjoy and you're going to see the plugs that you're going to run to when we decide to start such a business. And yeah, please remember to like, share this video if you liked it. And subscribe, please let's grow the clan. Every time I see a new subscriber, I'm really, really encouraged to continue creating great and educational content like this. So please remember to hit that button and keep it here for part two of this as we show you the before and then the after. Okay, now let's go shopping. So this is day one. So we decided to start with the furniture shopping and we went all the way to Ngara. Mm -hmm. Where are you up to girls? Shopping. Yeah. Shopping. 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 <laughs> we can't wait to put up our Airbnb. Oh. Yep. Yep. So our first stop was at these uh, shops around Ngara that have already have ready-made furniture. So the idea was just to sample a couple of the furnitures and get to an idea of the quality and stability of the chairs that you wanted and also to see if the design that we had in mind was something that can be doable we really really loved this a chair and it's we ended up changing our concept entirely because of this yellow love chair it was really really nice So a couple of uh, places had really nice furniture and it gave us almost, you know, the full idea of what we wanted and we were ready to go now to How is our fully. How so far? Tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired guys from all the work. I didn't know starting such a business. It's so much hassle. But I hope that one day all this has to be paid off. Definitely, yeah. it has to pay off. We'll yeah. do all we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is going to be the small dining space for the room. And this time to go there. See if we can get the best. So guys, we're thinking of this. Not very. 
strong, but for the function, which is dining, I think it works. So we just need one more chair. Two chairs, the table, and we'll do two of one. So the quality of this dining set wasn't very good, so we decided to keep on shopping. This we got what you wanted. It's a small variation, we wanted white fish, but now we're getting grey, but still within the same colour, so that's fine. Maybe you can show us how it looks. So here's our grey dining table chair. Very nice, very nice quality. It has a cushion. I don't know if you can see the cushion here. As opposed to what you had gotten earlier, which was not very stable and it didn't have this cushion here, it brings much more comfort while you're dining. So, guys, Karibuni, soon we're going to be inviting you to our Airbnb. So, this is just how it comes together. Mm. So for the dining, we've settled for the grey chairs. We're just getting them fixed. And you're ready to go. The first thing we've gotten. Feels good, eh? <laughs> so we're ticking off that off our mood board. So we left the guys fixing the chairs and we went back to the fundies for the furniture the couches and here we are we are hoping for the best most of the time when you're dealing with fundies you never know what will happen but we're just trusting and hoping that they shall give us exactly Let's what see we the need color that we're picking we have a shade we want a shade of gray not too dark not too light and i think this one would go mason seven good so what we're doing here is just choosing the fabric and the colors. So hopefully we get exactly what we need. So fingers crossed. By the way, if you're ever in Narok rock and you need somewhere to just relax, please, you can always DM me mm -hmm. and I'll give direction so to our Airbnb so what you can enjoy here? this. Uh, we're getting the, the couch for the sitting area and uh, we want a lapstick yeah a lapstick <laughs> and a three seat and also um, the, the ottoman for the bathroom yeah, yeah. and the dining table oh nice yeah. you guys keep following you'll see our mood board you'll be able to capture everything just the way we're saying so we need a couple of things and we think these workshop will get us the exact thing that you want look at that finishing that's a dining chair mm, they've done a really good job you can also have a look at this one see the detail so these the two and we are at river road and we are choosing the lighting so this is the one that you want to go for for the sitting area river road they're always more affordable so for all our lighting i prefer to do river road because the quality is more or less the same as in town and you will get variety So we also chose uh, an, uh, another lighting for the dining area and a, a extra lighting for the kitchen, for the alley and for the bedroom. So it was really a successful day. Then immediately after we went to Roy Sambu, so at Roy Sambu, we, went we to got really nice a couple bed sheets of bed sheets. at affordable prices. We also got some throw pillows, some uh, kitchen towels, and duvets, everything that you needed for the bed and for the sitting area. 
Madam Interior Designer. Are you happy? Yes, yeah, so happy. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy that we're getting everything just the way we planned it in the mood board. Uh -huh. So everything is panning out well. Especially Hopefully, that mustard. Next week we fix everything and we'll show you the final product. The before and after. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. This is my first project. <laughs> So I'm excited. Yeah? Yeah. Mm? Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> you got everything you needed for the bedroom? The yeah. cupboard? Yeah. What else? The clan the should now come to Lanoka. <laughs> Everything now, these are the kitchen towels. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. At least we are blessed to get uh, the exact colors that we are looking for for the bedding, for the carpets. Mm -hmm. So, everything is working out very well. Very well yeah. <laughs> Great. So, what next? Where are we going next? Uh, House of Letter. Oh, for the deco pieces. Yeah. Okay, great. So, I will see you there. So we are at House of Leather and we want to pick a couple of deco pieces. We need some plants, we need some floating shelves, we need some uh, some lamps for the bedroom. So let's see what we get here. Here we are at House of Leather and we want to get the deco pieces. So come with us. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I enter this shop, it almost feels like a trap. So I really need to be very, very careful when I'm here because I'll, I may end up shopping too much and I need to stick to the budget. So we still choosing the lamps and I think this one is the most appealing mostly because it has our theme the colors it has the grays and the whites it's so very small nice for the entry way space and yeah let's see how it goes at the end of the day you shall see the full picture what about the ones for the bedroom so just comment in the comment section let me know if you've been here how do you maneuver through all this so it's it's day three of our shopping haul and we are at kamkunji and today we want to get a couple of utensils and to buy sufurias and cutleries just to make sure that we have everything ready for our guests when we set up the house. So the reason I love Kamkunji is, is that you're going to get variety. Everything that you will need, it's there. So all you need is just to, you know, look shop after shop and get the best bargain. So we've managed to buy everything that we needed. We're just uh, getting everything packed, ready to go home. No lie, this has been a hectic three-day experience, but we're thankful that we've been able to buy everything that we needed and you're ready to set up the space. Look out for part two. So grateful to my girl Easter for tagging me along this journey. It's been a, such an experience and I'm thankful. So keep it here for part two. We are, we are going to be showing the before and after of the space. And remember to raise. Bye.